Hey there and welcome back to my video series, Really Ready for School, where I'm helping parents understand what it really means for a child to be ready for school and what are the things that they need to really know and be able to practice in order to set themselves up for success in their first school experience. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most, most important things that your child needs to be able to be successful at school with another adult who's not their parent. And that is understanding the boundaries of no. What the word no really means and how to have those boundaries so that when your child is told no by their teacher, what does that really mean? And I want to talk about this because we know as parents that um, Sometimes with us, no doesn't really mean no, and many children know how to kind of get around that no um, if we're not always the most consistent. Sometimes our kids know that no sometimes means no, and sometimes it doesn't. Well, when they get to school, they, they hit this brick wall of, my teacher said no. Wow, no really means no, and, and sometimes it's the hardest thing they don't know how to take it. Or if you're a parent who no doesn't mean no the first time, what no means is that now I'm going to count and I'm going to give you a warning. So I told you no, but now I'm going to one, two, three. So your child knows he has until three or maybe four or five to actually really get within the boundaries of that no. So now what's happened when they're attending school? Your teacher's not going to count. She's going to say no. She may be giving you a warning, but then there's going to be a consequence. So helping your child understand the boundaries of no before he gets to school will really help to set him or her up for much more success than a child who has, I don't want to say never, but doesn't always have a clear, concise boundary that no means no. And our children are very smart. Our children know who they can get away with more. They, it may be grandma, it may be dad over mom or mom over dad, but children quickly learn who really means no and who really doesn't. So the best thing that you can do for your child before they start school, and the earlier, earlier you can start the better, is helping them to understand that no means no. I know sometimes as a parent it's hard for us, we have other children, we have other things going on, but really, you must practice this with your child, and it's all about you. If you're consistent, then they will start to be consistent. It's you who's really the conductor of this orchestra. Trust me. When you say no and your child starts to understand that your no really means no, it doesn't mean you're going to count, it doesn't mean you're going to negotiate, no means no, they really will be set up for more success at school because it's going to be mimicking more of what they're going to get at school. Because the worst thing is for a child to have home be completely different um, than what they're experiencing at school and have to have that. They have an adjustment period anyway, let's face it. So to have to have another adjustment of what does no really mean? Oh, that teacher said no, she really means it, but it's going to take your child time to get used to that. Um, we're really doing them a disservice. So the earlier that you can practice this with them and practice a warning first and then a consequence so that they understand no means no. You say no, you don't want them to do something, and then give them a warning. I told you I don't want you to do that. If I see that again, here's the consequence. And then please, you must follow through so that they understand the boundaries of no. Uh, it's going to be a much smoother transitional experience for them when they have this practiced and ready to go walking through the door. So, would you like help with this? Let me tell you that I have a special class called the Really Ready for School class. And it's a special class where I take all the successful things that I've done over the years in my kinder karate programs, but I 
condense them down into a four-week class where we practice the most fun of the most fun and we pair them with the things that your child needs to be really ready for school. For instance, learning how to sit still for short periods of time, learning what a line is and how to join a line, learning how to take turns, learning that no means no, right? So when Mrs. C says we're going to do this, this is what we're going to do and they're going to do it the first time. I train my students to be first time action takers. I used to say first time listeners, but then really understanding that your child is actually listening to you even if they're not taking action. So we talk about being first time action takers. So they're gonna get to practice all of this in my class that's specifically geared towards getting them ready for school. So it's a four week class, we're going to meet once a week. It's going to be a great time for them where they're going to get a lot of positivity and pairing all the things that they need to do to be ready for school with some really fun activities and um, things and setting them up to practice these things, um, be successful with them. And if you know me, you know that I say confidence is a behavior, it's not a feeling. So anything that you practice and you get good at, you'll be confident at. So let's set them up for confidence in practicing these things to get really ready for school. If you're interested, click the link below. That'll send you to my website. You can sign up right online. We'd love to have you. And so also, I'd love to have you look forward to the next video in the series. There's many more to come on how to help your child be really ready for school. Thanks for watching.